Thanks for all the likes, subscribes and comments I've been getting on my other videos, in particular on my brother QL600 videos. Uh, this comment here from a big fan of tech, thank you for this one and for sending across the sample PDF so I can show you in this video how you can successfully print Hermes C2C, that's the consumer to consumer parcel shop labels on the brother. Let's take a look. Okay, so if you haven't already purchased your Hermes shipping label, come over to myhermes.co.uk and you'll be able to do so in the browser here. Just pop in the details of where you're sending from and to, etc. And then you'll get to the point where you have a PDF shipping label. That's what we're going to take a look at. Now, you notice I'm having to blur out quite a lot here because it contains personal information, but the most critical things to note, the QR code at the top here, and then the barcode at the bottom here, and I'm gonna show you once you've printed how you can use your phone with an app to test that they scan successfully. Obviously, that's the critical thing here, and that's the kind of proof that it's gonna work. Um, in the middle here, you'll have the address detail and some info on the weight, and then you'll have something on the right here about the actual delivery round that's being taken on. Now, you'll also notice or may notice that I'm in Foxit PDF Reader here, so I'm going to link to a download for that down below if you're not already using that. Um, you can also use things like Adobe Acrobat, etc. But if you're having any problems or can't follow exactly what I'm doing, give Foxit Reader a go. I do recommend it. Okay, so should be fairly straightforward. The nice thing is that they fill the whole um, PDF with the label, so we should just be able to go into the print menu. So you can do that via the file menu in the top left here. I'm just going to click on the printer icon up here. Of course, you can press Ctrl and P together, and you're going to get the print dialog up. So we're obviously going to be printing directly from Foxit Reader to the Brother QL600. You can see straight away the preview here is not looking good. It's not filling the whole label. It's not the right size. Um, so we need to adjust a few things. So first off, hit the properties button, just to ensure you have got the brother QL600 selected and look at the properties for it. So we're gonna change a few things as I normally show you in the videos I do on the QL600. So first thing is the paper size. The labels are 62 millimeters wide, so just pick 62 millimeter here. And then on the quality, hit the drop down and select high resolution. Okay, and then if you click onto the advanced tab, we're going to select this middle option for text and graphics dither. And then, as you know, I like to take the brightness all the way down to minus 20 and then the contrast all the way up to plus 20. Okay, so change those three things on the advanced tab. And then finally, click onto the other tab and tick the box to arrange the font stroke. Okay, once all that's selected, you should be able to hit OK. And then you can see straight away our preview here is looking much better. It's filling the whole of the label. Um, that's spot on now. So you should now be able to hit OK and print the label. So once printed, you should be looking at high quality label, something similar to the one I'm showing you here, obviously blurred out. Uh, that 20p there just to give you the scale of course um, and what you're going to want to do is test that the kind of qr code style uh, code at the top and the barcode at the bottom scan successfully and as i've recommended in other videos and i've posted a link to down below there's an app for your android phone you can get there's plenty of them but i picked one out that's quite decent um, that's going to allow you to turn your phone into a scanner to scan the qr code and scan the barcode and to check it reads the right detail from the top code you'll notice that you'll be able to read the sender and recipients details and then from the barcode down below i think you're just going to read that number back from it so please do check that both scan successfully and easily that's the sign that everything's gone to plan you've printed correctly if they're not scanning nicely just skip back um, check that you made all the settings exactly the same as I showed you in the video um, if you haven't got an Android phone there will be equivalent for iOS as well if you're struggling to find uh, an app to do that just comment down below or with any other questions or um, issues you found following the video 
So that's it for this video. Please, as always, do give a thumbs up to like the video if it's been useful. Please do check out the other content on the channel. There's a lot of other videos on the Brother QL600 and a lot of other budget tech centric video content. Um, and of course, if that content looks good, then it'd be great to have you as a subscriber to the channel as well. So do take a look and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.